Hey everybody, welcome to the Head Startup. So there's been a question on my mind since about the middle of February when I saw that Coinbase had filed its documents showing its intention to go public. As part of these documents, they had to actually lay out all the different risks that the company faces. And one of these risks really caught my eye and that was that they had listed the creator of Bitcoin itself, Satoshi Nakamoto, as one of the risks. On the documents, they say Satoshi Nakamoto could negatively affect Coinbase and could destabilize the entire crypto market. With Coinbase finally going public this week, I actually wanted to get to the bottom of this question myself from my own personal research to see what real effects the mysterious Bitcoin creator could have on Coinbase and the whole crypto market. I myself am trying to weigh up whether or not to invest in Coinbase and this is part of my analysis. So I said I would share with you guys the different opinions that I have come across. So the last time the world heard from Satoshi Nakamoto was in May 2011, which is 10 years ago now. In this email correspondence with two of Bitcoin's original developers, he says, I've moved on to other things. It's in good hands with Gavin and everyone. So I'm not going to get into the debate of who Satoshi Nakamoto is. There is a well-documented list of candidates that fit the bill, including the likes of Nick Zabo, Hal Finney, Adam Back, Paul LaRue and Dorian Nakamoto to name but a few, but it could just as easily have been a group of people. This is not the point of my video, what I really want to know is, whoever it is, what are the material effects that they can have on the crypto world. The first important thing we need to know is roughly how much Bitcoin does Satoshi still hold. There are many estimates out there, I've seen ones in the region of 700 up to around 1.1 million Bitcoin. So remember this is out of a total of 21 million Bitcoin that will ever exist. There's about 18.6 billion or so at the moment that have been mined so far. So taking that into account, let's go with Coinbase's estimate that he holds around 1 million Bitcoin. So this would put the value of the Bitcoin that he holds today at around $63 billion. This equates to about 5.3% of the total market cap of Bitcoin at the moment. The next question I had is would anybody notice if Satoshi decided to slowly sell off his 1 million Bitcoin? Just sell off little bits here and there would anybody actually notice? I think the answer to this question lies back in May 2020. Rumors and speculation started to spread after a Twitter account called Whale Alert tweeted this. 40 Bitcoin transferred from a possible Satoshi owned wallet, dormant since 2009, to an unknown wallet. The coins in this transaction were mined in the first months of Bitcoin's existence. That transfer of 40 Bitcoin didn't even indicate if anything had been sold or even if there was any links to any Satoshi owned wallet. However, after this tweet, the price of Bitcoin actually dropped by 7%. And this was only 40 Bitcoin, which is minuscule compared to the overall holding of a possible 1 million Bitcoin. But movement of old inactive Bitcoin are actually rare events. And it's actually something that crypto investors try and keep an eye out for. This has become something known as address watching. So this leads me to believe that if Satoshi Nakamoto actually wanted to offload his coins, he might have a difficult time in doing so without actually crashing the price of Bitcoin itself. And there is no way he could dump 1 million Bitcoin onto the market in one go. There's just not enough liquidity in the market at all. The normal trading volume for Bitcoin in a 24 hour period is around $65 billion, which is very close to actually the total value that is rumored that Satoshi Nakamoto actually holds. So I think it's safe to say we should never see anything like that ever happen. Satoshi's reappearance would not only cause a lot of turbulence in the price of Bitcoin, but it would also raise a lot of major political and regulatory issues as well. Many believe the destiny of Bitcoin is to reach a market cap of about 10 trillion, which is close enough to what gold is at the moment. If this were to happen and Satoshi reappeared, he'd be one of the most powerful and richest people in the world, owning 5% of the total Bitcoin supply. Especially when you compare it to the US government who only own 4% of the world's gold supply. Satoshi would have major political influence and he would have make or break power over all of the changes that have happened to Bitcoin since his disappearance. He may come back and say Bitcoin was never intended to be used as a store of value as it is now. If this happened would people listen to him it's hard to know. But this unveiling would violate one of Bitcoin's founding principles which are laid out in its white paper. If a creator was unmasked this would pose a threat to the decentralized nature of the currency. And this is something Satoshi put in the middle of his plans for Bitcoin. So unless Satoshi wanted to kill his own project, it's very likely that he will remain in the shadows. But what do you think? I'm interested to know your thoughts on this. So please drop your opinions in the comment section below. So thanks very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you are somebody who is new to crypto and is looking for a place to buy and sell, 
Then I recommend trying out Binance. I have an affiliate link down in the description section that will give you a reduction on your commissions and it will also help me grow my channel. So thanks again and see you next time.